Hi everyone, my name is Dean, and today I'm going to show you how to dynamically show or hide a field based on the value selected in another field in a list form using the SharePoint List Forms Extensions feature. Now in this example we have an issues list. End users are going to select a category before providing greater detail regarding this issue. Okay, so here's what we want to do. Uh, we have a categories field which has the options to select either software or hardware. Now if the end user chooses software, we want to have only the OS type and the software fields visible while hiding the hardware field. Uh, now if the user selects hardware, we want to have only the hardware field visible while hiding the OS type and the software fields. Okay, so using the SharePoint list forms extension feature, what we can do is we can actually enable this sort of functionality in less than one minute. Okay, so here's our issues list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the list settings and I'm going to select field level permissions. This will allow us to hide or show our fields. Alright, so this settings screen is where we can manage our field level permissions. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide all three of these fields from all of my list forms. Okay, so what I've done here is I've actually created three separate rules. Uh, each one of these rules applies to each field, and uh, they all hide each of these fields from the list. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to create the uh, rule to display the hardware field. And I'm going to set it up with condition, so the hardware field is only going to show up when the category field has a value that equals hardware. Alright, so you can see here that I've created the rule. Uh, you can see that it says to show the hardware field only when the category is equal to hardware. Now, um, let's go ahead and create the uh, rules to show the software and the OS field. Uh, so again, it's going to be another conditional rule. We're going to set it up so that it shows those two fields when the category is equal to software. Now, as a general rule of thumb, you want to have your conditional rules uh, at a higher numbered priority um, in, this, in the list of rules. So let's go ahead and click OK to save the settings. And uh, let's go ahead and try creating a new item. Okay, so as you can see by default, we don't have anything selected in the category field. So that means that none of the other three fields are going to show up either. Now let's go ahead and select software for the category field. Uh, when I do that, the OS type and the software fields show up. Um, these are only relevant to the software category. Now if I go ahead and change the category type to hardware, you're going to see those two fields disappear. And uh, only the hardware field is going to show up. Alright, so that concludes our tutorial on how to use the List Forms Extensions feature uh, to create a dynamic list form based on end user input. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks a lot.